Most of these chainsaws, they'll fire right up on the first, uh, first go around. That's the Remington. This is the Ryobi chainsaw that's about four years old. This is the Chinese chainsaw that I just purchased. Yeah, we've got a lot of trees out here we're trying to cut down and trim up ourselves. So I, most of these trees right here, these are about 12 to 18 inch diameter here. Probably going to end up cutting this down, this down. I'm going to cut this one down and probably cut this entire tree down right here. We've only started working on it this year. We'll, it's probably going to, the way we're looking at, it, probably take us a couple of years to get all this stuff trimmed back up. trimming this tree up right here. This one's all, all dead. And these are all dead. A couple of limbs over there hanging over the septic system. Yeah, this one, this particular limb right here was cut off last year. I just didn't finish this tree. This tree needs to be cut down. And this tree right here is probably about 12 inches in diameter. I cut this down yesterday using the Chinese chainsaw. Did a really good job. This limb right here was cut down. Last year. This limb was cut down last year. Well, half of it broke off. Yeah, this is all going to be cut down. It's all, these trees are dying for some unknown reason. Some of it I may have to hire out, but I'm going to try to get as much of it as I can myself. But these are the, but these are the chainsaws. I mean, these are the some of the saws that we've been working with. Uh, this is a 
This is a Remington 10 foot pole saw. Remington Ranger RM1025 SPS. And I'll take I'll take just the hand part of it off and use it to small uh, saw some small limbs. This saw works really well. And yeah, I really like this. I've had this probably for well, about a, about two years now. And it comes with a with a pole. I've got this. I purchased this Ryobi 16 inch gas chainsaw about this this chainsaw here is probably about this one's about four years old it's a Ryobi RY 3716 I've actually never had any problems with this chainsaw it starts right up I did have to adjust the carburetor high low on the carburetor one time about on a few months back it was giving me a little bit of trouble but yeah, it's a nice it's a nice chainsaw. I've never had any like I say I've never had any major trouble with it. Comes with a hard plastic carry came with a hard plastic carrying case. And all the tools of course whenever you buy a chainsaw. That 16 inch Ryobi chainsaw and, and the, uh, the pole saw, the Ranger Remington pole saw, are the first two saws that we ever got. And then we got into some limbs that actually got a little bit, got a little bit bigger than what, you know, what this little Ryobi would, would handle. So, So with the uh, the larger limbs that the uh, Ryobi would not handle, I went ahead and picked up uh, I picked up this Remington Outlaw chainsaw. I picked up this Remington Outlaw chainsaw RM4620, 20 inch 20 inch bar on it. Now I've never had any problems with this. This chainsaw here is only about a year old. I've never had a lot of a lot of trouble with this chainsaw at all. Just about started bogging down on me after cutting a lot of wood about a couple of weeks ago. I had to adjust the high low on this one too. Now it fires right up. It comes with a hard shell case. This is a heavy, this is a pretty heavy chainsaw. Watch, I really like this one. This this one will do some work. Hopefully uh, it'll last as long as that Ryobi has. Then we got into like uh, we've really we've done so well with trimming the trees that we've done so well trimming the trees on our own. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to work on some larger limbs. And uh, the tree I showed you was about 12 inches. This is a Chinese chainsaw 5200 chainsaw uh, 52 cc's with a 22 inch bar on it uh, I put it together got, got it off eBay for $94 uh, it did a really good job I wanted to give it a little bit of a break-in period so and I just got a small tree down with it uh, that 12 inch tree I just sh I showed you out there and it did a really good job you know this is a pretty heavy it's a pretty sturdy it weighs as much as that Remington right there this is a it's just an off-brand chainsaw 52 cc professional tools but it fires right up you know I haven't had any problems with it but uh, that's the chainsaws that we're using to cut down all of these trees there's one right here that we used a rope saw on to get up that high limb there. And we've got a 48 inch uh, rope chainsaw that we use quite a bit too. If we've got a high limb that's not hanging right. 
we'll use this if it's hanging where, where it looks like it might be dangerous on the tree fall we'll use this rope chainsaw it works really good using two men yeah I just thought I'd I'd share the chainsaws we like I say we get quite a bit of trees to cut down you know my wife and I are trying to do it, most of it ourselves and these are the chainsaws we're using to do it uh, three three pretty good chainsaws in my opinion I've been using them we've been using them pretty regularly I don't think any one of these chainsaws doesn't run one or two hours at a time working I can't I can't give you a lot about this Chinese chainsaw right yet but the one tree that it did cut down did really good and like I just showed you it starts it fires right up real easy yeah a lot of extra storage area in these in these uh, hard shell containers you know I've got a bunch a couple extra new chains down in here in directions of course I always keep the wrenches Here's some, some gasoline ready mix gasoline bar and chain oil yeah, everything fits in there really nice. Here's the Remington hard shell case again, extra quarter bar and chain oil directions, wrenches, a lot of extra room. It's nice to have these hard shell cases. Uh, one thing I can tell you that was on all, all my chainsaws, whenever every time I use them, even if I only use them to cut down one or two limbs, uh, I, I take the whole thing apart and clean it all up. I keep the blades really sharp. And I'll take the whole, I'll take the entire, entire chainsaw apart, carburetor, cover everything, wipe it down, clean it up. I blow, I blow the entire thing out. I blow all the channel on the chain out with a blow gun, or compressed air. Blow this entire assembly out with pressed air. Clean any of the channels for the bar oil. I blow them out with the compressed air. Every single chainsaw. Keep the chains really, keep the chains really sharp. Then we've got a just a regular pole saw that we'll use quite a bit too. This is a 15 foot pole saw. It works really well too. 